Hi, and welcome to the Google Sheets tutorial on how to count cells if not blank. My name is John Flat, and I will be running through the three different methods to do this. There are various methods to count cells in Google Sheets. There are functions that are built into the system, and using them makes things much simpler and easy. There are some um, downfalls to them depending on each function. So I'll give you some examples um, real quick. With the count function, it's a basic count function that may, many might find quickly. But the problem with that, as it says here, is it's the number of numeric values in a data set. So if you do count and then you do our data set, you're going to get zero because there's no numeric values in here. Now, for example, if you put a numeric value, all of a sudden it's going to count that. So that won't help us today with what we're trying to do because we're trying to count cells if they're not blank within a data set that has non-numeric values. So what we have to do is we have to use one of the various other methods. So we're going to cover three of those methods. The first and simplest method is likely the one you're going to use most often in the situation. This is called the count a function. To do it, you do equals count a, which you see there is the number of values in a data set. So it's looking for all values, numeric or text values. So you do count a open parentheses and you can simply click and drag to highlight that or you can type in d6 colon d18. So you close that parentheses and now we have all of our items. Now another method outside of the count a would be the count if function. The count if function is a great function is used quite commonly throughout Google Sheets. It can be used to look in a data set and find any items that are over a certain quantity and count those. So I'll show you a quick example on how to use the count if function. Since we're going to use it, this one we'll have to combine it with another function to make sure it works for this data set. So I'll show you the basic one first and then we'll go into that. So the count if function is as it sounds. You're going to use this function to look at a range and make sure and, and count every time it meets a criteria. So in this situation, we can count how many of our products are over 15,000 piece quantity. To do that, we would say count if, open parentheses, highlight the range by clicking and dragging, comma, and now we're going to enter the criteria. The criteria here is going to be quotations greater than 15,000. Close the quotation, close parentheses, enter. So now we can see we have two items over 15,000 pieces. We can look at the data set and confirm that's correct. So that's a basic count if function. Now, what we're going to do here to count cells that are not blank is we're going to use a special criteria within there, and we're also going to use the count function in conjunction with it. So I will go ahead and put this in here and we'll walk through it. So equals count if. Now we're going to, again, highlight our range, comma, and then the criteria we want to count. In this situation, we're using a special criteria like I stated earlier. That special criteria is question mark star. And now this is looking, that criteria looks for non-blank cells. One thing we have to take into account here is that this function is not going to count numeric values. The only way to count numeric values with this function as it is is to close that parentheses and now use another function plus count like and then the same range and then just close that parentheses and now we have 10 but I'll show you here if we put in a 5 now it counts that now just to go back and, and show you to check our work if we take that count function out it no longer is counting that because it's not counting the numeric values. So we want to make sure we leave, we have both functions here. Count if, working and looking at the special criteria of blank, while also counting any numeric values in the data set, just in case you're using both types of values. So those are the two methods of doing this using the count functions. So we use the count, count if, and count a. To do this another way, there's also the sum product function combined with the length function. So these two functions work together in conjunction to look for anything um, that's a blank cell. And so we'll go through how to use that and how each works. So sum product, it's going to look for the sum based on what we put in next. So the array that we're looking for is 
length. It's the length of the string, so it's going to count the string. And the range we're working with, close parentheses. Here, we're going to put anything greater than zero. So it's looking at the length of that range. Every cell in that range, it's an automatic array, looks in and it counts each one, and then it brings back all the ones that are greater than zero. So those are the three functions on how to count non-blank cells. Thank you for joining us.